Time now for another edition of The Rest of the Story. In tonight's episode, the Cobb family players star in The Cable Company Phone Call. By now, you've probably heard part of what happened. A customer of a big cable company called trying to have his service disconnected, and the customer service rep argued with him and argued and argued. Here's a brief clip from that call. But I'm trying to help you. Okay, okay. You you can, the way that you can help me right now, answers by doing all this. the way I'm that you can help me is by disconnecting our service. That's how you but can how help me. how is that me. helping you, though? How because that's what I want. Explain to me how that's helping That's you. what I want. Okay, so why is that what you want? Because that's what I want. We just want to find out what it is that's causing a customer that's been with us for a long time to leave. Because that's what we want. The customer put the recording on the internet where it went viral. Now, here's the rest of the story. As we begin, the cable company customer service rep, John, has been called into a meeting with his boss, Fred, and the office general manager, Dave. Come on in, John. Hold up a seat. Hi, guys. Listen, let me just say right away, let me start by saying how sorry I am about what happened. Well, what are you apologizing for, John, exactly? Well, obviously, I embarrassed the company. I had no idea the guy was recording the call. See, now that's what I was afraid of. Use apologizing for the wrong thing. Uh, excuse me, I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure I follow. We don't care about the recording. You know that kind of thing is going to happen. We'll just apologize to the public and say we're handling it. So if you're not mad at me about that, then why, why am I in here? The point is, John, you spent nearly ten minutes on the phone with that guy, and when it was all said and done, you disconnected his service, and we lost a customer. But that's what he insisted on. Now, John, what have we trained you to do in situations like this? Well, I'm supposed to find out what the problem is and be persistent about it, and I did that, but... But you didn't get the job done, and we wants to know why. Well, I, I don't know what else I, I could have done. Now, John, we've been looking at your files. You know, we record every phone call, and we listen to those things to see how you're doing. Yes, I know that. What we're finding, John, is that you spend more time on the phone with your customers and get less in the way of results than any service rep in the shop by like 10 percentage points. I know, but it gets to the point where the customer insists on disconnecting, and then I, I, I don't know what to do. Well, how about doing what we've trained you to do? That'd be good. What's the second item on your checklist, John? Uh, step two, find out what the problem is. And if the customer won't give out that information? Uh, now see, that's why we have a problem with you. You forget your training. Here's the list which you are supposed to have memorized. What does step 2A say? Uh, re remind the customer that we know where he lives. On 2B, tell him we're going to send a customer service rep named Benny the Rat to come see him in person. And if that don't work, step 2C, uh, we tell him that we know where his mother lives. Okay now, John, we expect better of you going forward. I need you to sign this memo to acknowledge that this is the second time we've had to have this little chat. Uh, okay, all right. And we need not have this conversation again. Uh, okay. Do we have a clear understanding? Yeah, I'll, I'll do better, guys. Good. Now go out there, take some names, and kick some butt. Listen to the Forest Car Show on Tucson's Power Talk 1210 for more episodes of The Rest of the Story. Brought to you by Dashing Dave's Discount Ambulance. You whack them, we stack them.